Dr. Bloomer, you hold a PhD in exercise physiology. Could you tell us a little bit about that field? Didn't it used to be called sports medicine, or is it still called sports medicine? Well, exercise physiology uh, really involves, from a research perspective, the study of acute and chronic exercise in relation to a number of physiological parameters. So typically in a laboratory, people may look at the acute responses and adaptations uh, with exercise in mm -hmm. relation to, for example, the cardiorespiratory system, the skeletal muscle system, the endocrine system, the metabolic system, et cetera. Um, typically when you see reports um, in the news that exercise was shown to be beneficial for um, a certain disease, for example, mm -hmm. diabetes prevention right. or prevention of heart disease or certain forms of cancer, et cetera. Traditionally, exercise physiologists are the ones that are doing that sort of work in addition to MDs and PhDs with other, other degrees and backgrounds. Now, sports medicine really is more related to the prevention and the rehabilitation okay. of certain injuries. So typically with sports medicine, you're going to find individuals with backgrounds in athletic training and physical therapy and orthopedics, orthopedic surgery, et cetera, mm -hmm. as opposed to exercise physiologists. Exercise physiology really doesn't So the work. line of departure is exercise physiology actually deals with the physical components of exercise as medicine. Is that what you're saying? That is correct. So the new statement from the AMA and the American College of Sports Medicine touting exercise as medicine or exercise is medicine Mm -hmm. That would suggest that exercise can be used to offset some of the declines that we see in physiological okay. function over time. And traditionally, an exercise physiologist at the PhD level may perform that sort of research. An exercise physiologist at the master's level may work as a clinical exercise physiologist working with, for example, individuals undergoing cardiac or pulmonary rehabilitation okay. or perhaps work in an exercise testing laboratory, performing stress tests and perfusion studies and, and those sort of uh, tests. So that's quite a distinction then. It, it really is. It, it, it's not sports medicine. Again, mm -hmm. sports medicine really is focused on the prevention and the rehabilitation of certain sport-related injury. Or athletic expression, right? Exactly. And this is exercise as medicine and rehabilitation. Right, and, and it's not simply as medicine or, or rehabilitation. Oftentimes exercise physiologists will mm -hmm. focus on improvements in physical performance, mm -hmm. whether they're dealing with athletes or other individuals who are non-athletes, but improvements in cardiorespiratory endurance, improvements in muscular uh, performance, muscle mm -hmm. strength, muscle size, muscle hypertrophy, et cetera, as well as changes in body composition, lean to fat ratio. So exercise physiologists tend to do that sort of work. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, again, with exercise being the focus, but also with nutrition and nutrient intake and nutraceuticals and dietary supplements as adjuncts to the exercise. Well, that's pretty comprehensive, isn't it? It sure is. It's a very, very broad field. Um, individuals, like in any other discipline, for example, in medicine, have to specialize and mm -hmm. be focused in one area to really develop an expertise in that area. My area of expertise is really something related to um, antioxidant protection and mm -hmm. free radical production, and that area is known as oxidative stress.